traveling the world. She is in Seoul, South Korea with President Trump. Karen Travers, ABC News correspondent, good morning. Good morning. So uh, what happened in Texas seems to be overshadowing Donald Trump's trip so far to Asia. Yeah, I mean, I'm not back home, so I don't know how the headlines are playing out back there. But certainly the president talked about it yesterday morning, and he was asked about it today. He wasn't talking about it uh, impromptu. For him, the focus certainly was on North Korea today and trade issues. And we heard him talk several times, and North Korea definitely at the top of the president's mind, definitely at the top of the agenda. So we're getting some uh, clips uh, back here. Is somewhat was he apologetic when he first became and and elected president? There's getting some attention here for that clip here. I'm not sure which clip is that. I'm do not we, sure what you mean. Do we have that clip, Willie? We don't have the clip. We'll 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 we'll, we'll play it later on. He where he apologized and said that uh, he was getting a lot of calls from a lot of countries and he didn't know there were a lot of countries. Uh, in listen to this, Karen Travers. A relationship with Shinzo got off to a quite a rocky start because I never ran for office, and here I am, but I never ran. So I wasn't very experienced. And after I had won, everybody was calling me from all over the world. I never knew we had so many countries. You never knew he had so many countries. <laughs> You know, very Trump way of talking about things. Uh, yeah, that was at the uh, the dinner with Shinzo Abe, which I think was the other night now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Kind of All losing right. track of days and time zones here. Uh, but, you know, talking about how he was the, the one leader he met with before he was sworn in, and maybe that broke some protocols by doing that meeting while he was only the president-elect. All right, sorry about that. I just thought it was too funny to uh, pass yeah, up. No. So so, so what? So what's the goal in South Korea? What 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 is he trying to do? Well, the, certainly from the way the president was talking about North Korea today, it was a very deliberate and measured tone, very different than what we've heard from him in the past couple of months, where he's been very aggressive, you know, talking about little rocket man and fire and fury, threatening to totally destroy North Korea, as he did at the United Nations back in September. Instead, today, the president was talking about responsible nations, which he says has to include China and Russia to call on North Korea to end its nuclear weapons program. And the president said it's time to act with urgency. And it's just notable that uh, he didn't use some of those same words and uh, tone that we've seen from him in recent months. Is it, has the White House explained why he is toning down the rhetoric a little bit? I think there was a bit of anxiety here in the region about some of the president's more aggressive statements and the tweets and some of the things he said publicly uh, and what that would mean for safety and security here. Uh, you know, we were paying, paying close attention to what the president said and how he said it, but certainly paying attention to see if there was any message from Kim Jong-un, you know, to basically let him know, let President Trump know that he's listening. So far, we haven't seen that. Yeah. Uh, he, w is he g having any interaction with people, uh, the commoners, the people in these places and what's the response been to him as a as the, as an american president visiting some of these cities there were you know many people lined up along the motorcade today waving flags some demonstrations some of the demonstrations got sizable uh you know there's a concern here about the saber rattling over north korea because obviously this is just 35 miles away from the north korean border you know, this is directly in the line of fire and concern about the president's rhetoric maybe pushing buttons uh, and not taking the diplomatic route. But the president isn't exactly mingling with people. Uh, he's had several times where he's met with U.S. service members, military commanders. That's him getting away from the diplomatic side of this trip. Karen Travers, ABC News correspondent in Seoul, South Korea. Safe travels, and we'll talk to you soon.